All right, for the next combat showcase, we're gonna show you guys how to take down this Harbinger of Doom over here. Super easy. He's level 15. He's got quite a decent amount of armor, a little bit less magic, but still quite a bit of each. Um, and he's got four little zombie henchmen walking around here. I don't know if you want to call them henchmen. He's got four zombies walking around here. And he's got the ability to raise more zombies based on how many corpses are down here, so quite a bit. Now, the good thing about this fight is you usually approach it from up here. There's a little uh, dwarf caravan over here, some traders, red princess, all that stuff. So normally you're going to find this guy by coming up this way. Now when you're up here, you can easily have three of your party members, or two, or one if you're a lone wolf, um, sit over there and one party member come up here. Now I will tell you, to make this fight super easy, you are going to need somebody, preferably with the Torturer talent and the Worm Tremor skill. That's going to make this very, very easy combat. Uh, but they're not required. They just they do make it quite a bit easier. So all we're going to do is start off with Encourage there, and then we're going to start combat by hitting all these guys with Entangle. So what that's going to do is Torturer lets you set status effects through armor. So even though normally this will only entangle people when they have uh, no magic armor, Torturer lets you entangle them even when they still have magic armor left. Now that also makes it so you can't teleport them, but also it makes it so that they can't teleport themselves. So now that we've done that with just Ifen here, we're going to just delay our turn. Well, then I'll take their turn. Okay, and they can't do anything because they're out of range to attack me. And they can't move. So, very good. If you have two people with Entangle and Torture, you can pretty much lock down any encounter if you find a range vantage point where you have high ground and they're just too far away to attack you. Uh, the other good thing is you can walk right up to where Ifen's at and you're still out of their like direct line of sight to where you'd enter combat. So now we're also going to have Losa attack before her actual turn and hit him with Chain Lightning. Uh, we could do works, and I'm going to use Fane or Sibyl because this encounter should... I mean, we might, but the plan is to not use them. All right, now they are all stunned except for the big guy, and the big guy has 100% fire resistance, so if you have somebody using fire, don't attack him with it. Uh, also, poison resistance. So if you have a standard wizard setup, he's going to be pretty much limited to just earth attacks for this fight. All right, but air and water, he's only got 10 resistance and negative 20. Um, that is because he's wet. Normally he has 20 and 0, respectively. All right, um, so uh, since they all can't attack anyway, there's no real point in blinding them. Um, I think we're just going to hit him with some magic arrows here. Just whichever one I have the most. You know, he's actually got less air resistance, so we're going to shoot him with a lightning arrow. Also fits the theme of us hitting him with uh, Losa's lightning there. Boom. Stunned. And we can hit him with a super conductor there. And then uh, since they're all crowd controlled anyway, I think I'm going to have her, uh, let's see, yeah, hop right over here so she can get elemental affinity. Uh, that XP was exploration, not not because anything died. Um, now they are all still stunned, and he's not getting a turn until after she gets a turn. So we can delay, send some more shocking arrowheads down here. Yeah, see, yeah, that's what I was worried about. I, I wanted to get her elemental affinity again, but it looks like that's not going to happen because they're just going to keep getting... St Although, that might do it. Yes. Okay. Oh, he procced Executioner. Didn't expect that. Uh, we'll just... Well, that's going to be all physical, so it doesn't really matter. All right, and... There we go, some more damage there. Uh, that guy's almost dead, so we're gonna actually let Ifen finish him off just to proc Executioner. There we go, and then just to get some... Actually, I say that, let Ifen proc Executioner. This totem might attack that guy for the kill. Yeah, yeah. 
That makes sense. All right, and now uh, we don't have any more lightning crowd control, so we're just gonna try and freeze here. Um, yeah. Actually, let's pull that up first, then hit him with global cooling. There we go. And I guess we gotta use Marson's Fang. Because at this point, there's no reason to go for physical damage. And... That's almost enough. But, uh... You know what? I think that is going to do it. Oh, so close. There you go. Only used two party members. Encounter completed. Did not get attacked at all. Used two source points. Uh, that last one, the Dust Blast, wasn't really even needed. Um, and we're just going to have them all come down here and we're going to loot. So that whole thing I was recording for a little over six minutes, was talking through some of it. Uh, that was a boss higher level than me. All the henchmen zombies were at the same level as me. And we're doing this once again on honor mode right there. So, uh, yeah. Typically a difficult boss battle made super easy through the entangle torturer combo. Now granted if you had a really high initiative you wouldn't need to do that. Um, you could make it rain like we did, uh, start off combat with Iphen like we did. Um, but if you had a higher initiative than this guy, uh, Iphen would go first and then you could use a uh, chanterelle. I, th I might be saying it wrong so I'm just going to find it here. Um, Oh, that's the wrong thing. Where is it? I know I've got at least... Okay, I've got six of them. So you can use that right there to go invisible. Then delay your turn. And then these guys, even though they're not entangled, they still won't move because they don't know where you are. You would still need the rest of your party to be sneaking. Um, so you wouldn't need to use entangle. You could just start off by going invisible, delaying your turn. Um, an invisibility potion would also work just as well. Um, and then you could have Losa stun them all or anybody you know stun them all shock them all freeze them all um chain lightning works really well because they can be a little bit spread out and still hit all of them same with superconductor they can be spread out quite a bit and still hit all of them um if somehow you manage to get all of their physical armor down uh even though they all have quite significantly high, well not that one most of them have higher physical damage or physical armor uh, earthquake will work as well, uh, but basically uh, you want to attack them from the high ground and anything you can do to immobilize them or just otherwise lock them down. Uh, spider legs, the webbing will also work. It's got a pretty good sized area of effect, but overall, I mean, you could do this one. It'll take longer, but you could do this encounter pretty much any point next to if you approach it from the high ground up there. All right. I'll see you guys for the next combat.